Welcome back everybody to another Terraria video. Today we are testing out which Terraria pickaxes are the fastest, which ones can mine the strongest or in the game. We're testing out not only vanilla pickaxes, but we're testing out modded pickaxes. As you can see here, we got a little uh, obstacle course. I don't know, would this be called an obstacle course? Training course. And you see we got vanilla ores in here and then we get to the modded calamity ores and then we get to the dreaded chest with items in it. If any pickaxe can mine that, I will use whatever pickaxe that is i will always try and get in every playthrough but yeah let's go ahead let's take a look at vanilla pickaxes first and uh let's see which one of those is the strongest and fastest as you can see here we got a nice little lineup we got the reaver shark going first the pickaxe axe the shroom eye digging claw specter pickaxe pick saw and nebula pickaxe now some of these actually might not be too far apart and some of them might have the same speed honestly but certain one of these you know they all got their own little unique ability for example the shroom eye digging claw is really fast this one has plus three range so it can reach further than everything else yeah you can see the uh powers here and uh we're gonna go ahead and put them to the test let's all put them first what is that noise let's all put them against the speed test first all right so what we're gonna do we're just gonna mine straight down and just feel how fast it goes that's that's it that's our speed test this this is pretty it's pretty slow bro <laughs> let's try the pickaxe axe now oh let's go ahead let's try the pickaxe axe now and see how fast this goes okay decent speed decent speed let's go ahead let's try out the digging claws now these ones i expect to go really fast yes sir i think this is one of the fastest pickaxes in the game let's go ahead let's try the specter pickaxe now okay it's okay speed you no know, it has the same power as the shroom my digging claws pick saw now this one i always use the pick saw this thing's pretty good it's pretty fast it's pretty good but i think the digging claws are still the fastest and last but not least the nebula pickaxe let's go ahead this is pretty good i think this is like right behind the uh, digging claws in terms of speed but yeah you can see the crimson is slowly spreading right now i should probably do something about this all right now let's put these pickaxes to the strength test now the reaver shark i expect to get what to palladium can't this thing mine palladium it's pretty fast on ores on the sand it wasn't feeling that fast but on ores not too bad yeah it does mine palladium so the reaver shark is the type of pickaxe you can get like right off the bat early game well maybe not right off the bat but you can get it fairly early in the game and when you do you're pretty much going to use it the whole entire playthrough moving on to the pickaxe axe this one i think will get us to chlorophyte i'm pretty sure chlorophyte maybe it can get a uh, cryonic and maybe perennial ore after that we're gonna see right now okay chronic easily perennial easily charred or okay no eula bloom i don't expect any pickaxes to hit eula bloom besides calamity ones all right so i was in the middle of recording like these three pickaxes and then my power in the whole entire apartment just went out uh i don't know if it was just my apartment specifically but you know i lost that like couple minutes of footage it's all good i wanted to do it again anyways uh, <laughs> yeah i really wanted to record this part again but yeah let's do it we're testing out these shroom eye digging claws i expect these to blow through everything look at this the speed is crazy is it gonna blow through oh my god it blew through cryonic it blew through perennial cannot get past eula bloom like i expect most of these pickaxes to not get past but not bad at all the speed probably the fastest we're gonna see for vanilla i don't know maybe the nebula has something to show off but yeah going on to the specter pickaxe now this one you know i expect to be able to get through all the ores but not very fast but look you can do this you can stand at quite a distance and get through all of it but uh you know i don't know uh, this pickaxe i never really pick up in any playthroughs so i don't really care about it too much but yeah pretty much all of these are gonna get past uh all these ores except for yula bloom as expected wow this one's really slow on charge look at look at this all right so we are testing out the pick saw probably my favorite vanilla terry pickaxe the one that i usually get every single playthrough guaranteed let's do it i expect this to reach obviously all the way up to charred as expected i think this is like the second fastest this is right behind shroom eye digging claws even shroom eye digging claws was eating through the modded ores and look this is eating through the modded ores that's that's pretty good but yeah nebula pickaxe the final one the last vanilla strong best i don't know those are a bunch of words i just use randomly the best vanilla terry pickaxe right here i think maybe not the fastest but statistically the best oh my god it's pretty fast i usually don't get these pickaxes until like recently when calamity started making me get them i think there's something for calamity you need to get using these but yeah this 
is pretty good no yellow bloom still though but that's pretty fast that honestly might be faster than the shrew my digging claws i don't know all right so we're moving on to our sort of miscellaneous set of pickaxes from a couple of different mods here let's start from right to left we got op rainbow sword mod installed which adds in the block deleter you can see all statistics there we got the op pickaxe which is from the op pickaxe mod so i expect it to be really good we got the Perium pickaxe from elemental unleash we got tunnel maker 3000 from builder plus and we got basic pickaxe which is a testing item from thorium so i expect all of these pickaxes to easily just blaze through everything so let's go ahead let's take these and let's put them to the speed test first all right let's go ahead let's just start mining down with these pickaxes first one is the basic pickaxe speed look at that that's quick as hell let's go ahead let's try the tunnel maker okay we're getting faster and faster let's do the perium pickaxe probably gonna be the slowest of the bunch honestly but it's power you know that the power is pretty high it's like the third highest power here i think actually 250 okay besides this one but every, it's higher than everything else isn't it yeah it is but we'll, we'll put that one down there and let's go ahead let's go to the op pickaxe now this one i expect to be insanely fast it's from a mod called op pickaxe you ready it's okay it, it seems just as fast as the tunnel maker but yeah let's move on to the block deleter now this thing don't even look like a pickaxe look at it what the hell is that all right let's go ahead let's test it out okay so i think why it's going so slow is because it's breaking the wall behind it too which is really really weird that's extremely weird you know what Let, let's try a different test with this one we're gonna we're gonna make a large sand pillar right here and we're gonna mine that down because the wall behind the wall over here is making it mine pretty slow all right as you can see we got our pillar up in there and now let's see how fast it goes hopefully it doesn't break other things all around i don't know all right it's pretty quick it feels a lot quicker than what we get down here because it's not mining the wall look you can mine the wall right there but yeah it seems like all of these can go pretty fast except for the perium one but the perium one has strength behind it so that's all good all right so let's see which pickaxes can get through all of these and then break the evil chest at the end i'm actually interested to see what's in the chest i don't, I don't remember what i put in the chest but this pickaxe like i said this one has the strength less of speed more of just strength and it's eating through all this i'm hoping it can get through yula Blue. I'm hoping, unless there's a certain thing. Oh my God, it got through Yulu Boom. All right, ready? Nope, it's not getting through the chest. All right, yeah, what did I put in these chests though? A clown outfit. Um, What about in this one? Oh, more clown what is it trying to say moving on to the basic pickaxe from thorium this one also expect to just blaze through oh my god <laughs> oh wait it can't it can't get through yulu bloom but the perium pickaxe can get through yulu bloom all right what about the chest i mean if it can't get through yulu bloom i don't expect it to be able to get through the chest but geez that that was fast moving on to the tunnel maker 3000 this one i also expect to be fast damn i can't even keep up with it can't mind Yula Bloom though. It can't. All right, so we got a little little pattern here. I told you guys that Perium, you know, it's a little bit slower of a pickaxe, but it's the only one that can mine through Yula Bloom so far. And uh, you know, like I said, strength over speed? Question mark. I don't know, but let's see. Can I mine a chest? Of course not. All right, so moving on to the OP pickaxe mod, and of course the OP Rainbow Sword mod. Block deleter and OP pickaxe. Let's do it. Brrr. I don't know why I made that noise, but. I expect the block deleter to at least be able to break through Eula Bloom. Didn't expect this one to break through Eula Bloom. Also, don't expect any pickaxes to break chests. But block deleter, here it goes. It doesn't feel that fast. It really doesn't feel that fast. But it can't mine Eula Bloom. It's the fastest Eula Bloom mining one so far, as you can see. So uh, it's not too bad at all because of that. Anything that can mine Eula Bloom, that's a thumbs up in my book. But uh, yeah, chest. I mean, like, what do you guys expect at this point? Moving on to the last set of pickaxes, all from the Calamity mod, all the higher tier pickaxes. And I expect these ones to be the best. You know, for pickaxes that you'll actually have in a playthrough, a modded playthrough, it's usually going to be these ones. And uh, we're going to see how well they stand up here. I expect I expect the hand pick to stand up pretty strongly in terms of, uh, wait, I'm supposed to do a speed test first. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do our speed test here. I expect most of these to be pretty fast, but probably not as fast as those other pickaxes because those ones those were some speed demons but you know calamity pickaxes they got a reputation they're, they're pretty fast uh none of them are really going that fast right now but once we get to the crystal crusher and the blossom pickaxe like that's pretty fast but the crystal crusher i expect it oh my god all right so let's go ahead let's try this again uh this time speed test has been done i expect this to get to charred because this is a charred or pickaxe the 
or at least the pickaxe you make from the charred ore bars, whatever they're called now. They used to be called chaotic bars and stuff like that, you know, back in my day when I played Calamity. But yeah, obviously, let's put this to the test. I, I really don't expect anything to break those chests. Uh, only one thing ever has broke the chest, but the chest didn't have items in it, so does it really count in the end? I don't know. But yeah, that was not too bad of a pickaxe. Moving on, though, to the gallant pickaxe. Now, these, this pickaxe, the blossom one, and the crystal crusher, I usually pick these up towards the end of my playthroughs when I have Calamity installed. But boom, this one, mine through Eula Bloom, is a good pickaxe. Next up, blossom pickaxe. Pickaxe. this one is a for sure one that i grabbed and uh, i like this one a lot it's definitely one of the pickaxes you kind of just carry with you post moon lord it's pretty good i expected to mine eula bloom because this is the one that's made out of eula bloom so yeah it's pretty good last but not least the crystal crusher itself one of the fastest pickaxes in modded terraria and you know it's fairly easily obtainable i don't know let's just look at the recipe because uh it's not, i just forget about it like i said i forget about it but uh you you, you kind of need to kill calamitas so uh i i think i've only gotten this pickaxe like once in any playthrough if i'm being honest but yeah let's go ahead let's do it i'm ready to see the speeds i probably can't even keep up with how fast it's about to go all right that took about like a second maybe two but the real question is can it mine a chest <gasps> what the fuck i'm kidding it, it didn't mind the chest i just i took the stuff out of the chest and then mined it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave in the comments any pickaxe that i missed out yes i'm giving you guys permission to tell, say game editors you forgot this you forgot that because i always get comments saying that i forget something but how can i forget something if i never knew about it but yeah leave comments any other strong pickaxes maybe we'll do another part where we test out pickaxes more pickaxes stuff like that and uh make sure you guys watch the terraria 1.4 is it 1.4 i don't know Terraria 1.4 slash 1.3.6 trailer it just came out today and uh i will have a reaction video either coming up after this video or before this video i don't know we'll see but uh it's looking good it's looking good but the you know 2019 release date i don't like that what happens if i made a video and i'm like and i keep hyping it up and I'm like hey yo this video is gonna come out 2019 it does it's like bro what the fuck do you mean it's coming out 2019 how am i supposed to be hyped i love you guys hope you enjoyed the video and i will see y'all next time